let's move on to sensitive period. Now, along with this absorbent mind, nature has, al has also supported the child with sensitive periods. Let's see what these sensitive periods and how they support child development. You know, every development has a sensitive period. The sensitive period for language development is from birth to five and a half years. The sensitive period for order is from birth to two years. The sensitive period for refinement of senses is from birth to five and a half years. The sensitive period for small objects is from birth to two years. The sensitive period for movement is from birth to four and a half years. And for social behavior is from birth to six years. Now let's understand what happens exactly during these sensitive periods. You know, whenever the child is going through the sensitive period for any development, he is immensely interested in that particular element in the environment. For example, when the child is going through the sensitive period for language development, you might have noticed, uh, how many, do you, uh, do any of you have a two, three month old child? Alright, so have you noticed that whenever you are speaking, this child is observing your lips very carefully? And most of you might have noticed that. You know, because he's going through sensitive period for language and he would want to observe how you're moving your legs. Again, uh, uh, eight, nine month old child when they start dancing, saying ba ba, da da, what do they do? The moment they learn, they keep repeating, they keep repeating. You know, even when you're ready to sleep, you see your child saying ba ba, <laughs> da da, and what do we do? Stop it! <laughs> It is sleeping time! <laughs> you know, for most of the parents, these sounds don't mean much. All parents are interested in that their children should be speaking in big, big words. Big sentences, like big words. <laughs> <laughs> that <was the> <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He, he? he must be expert in saying that. <laughs> But the child knows that he needs to master those sounds before he is <laughs> Sorry. So the child needs to master those sounds before he starts speaking. And he knows that. And he masters those sounds. And, <laughs> and how old is she? <laughs> is 15 months old. 15 months old. All right. So, did you get an idea of how sensitive periods work? Let's understand how sensitive periods work in the development of movement. When, uh, again, you have a three month old child, right? Have you seen child turning? You know, when they are around two, three months, they start turning and movement, they learn turning. What do they do? They keep turning. Keep turning. And when you see that the child is turning, what do we do? <laughs> That's fine. What else do we do? You put pillows in the and you will make sure that the child doesn't turn. Uh -huh. Because he should not fall. Why would you have to put him on a cot and make sure that he doesn't fall? You know, again for us, that turning and all that doesn't mean anything, right? All we are interested in that he should be walking. <laughs> we want walking children. We don't want turning children. <laughs> the child knows he needs to master those movements so that he can he would he's getting the color and he's also getting the shape. I mean uh, the dimension, how, how long it is, how what is the weight and all that, right? And you are saying something. Yeah, you know, you give anything to the child, a young child, where will it go? <laughs> and what is he getting? He is getting this. Very good. You guys are pretty smart. <laughs> Alright, what else? <laughs> smell, you know, you I didn't give anything, you could explore this smell. Thanks. What else? You know, and how would he get to know the sound? What does the child do? <laughs> Bang. So he is getting the sound of it. What else? <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's talk about this object. So he would get the color. That is to visual sense. Got that. What else? Got that. 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 Got
templated, you know. No, 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 so he would get to know if it is hard or soft. Right? Great. Let's take on everybody for sharing. Now, this is what happens in the first three years. Now, every time he tries touching something, feeling something, he is he's getting sensory impression of that. And what do you think is happening in the brain when the child is touching or holding this? Do you know what is happening in his brain? He is making neuron connections. And you know, like, just by a simple thing of dating it, dating it, telling it, feeling it, the child creates millions of neuron connections. Millions. Just by mere this activity. Do you get that? Now, do you know how important it is for you to allow the child to experience various things in the environment? Right? Now, once the child has collected all the sensory impressions, now what happens in from 3 to 6 years is that now all those impressions that she has collected needs to be segregated, needs to be compartmentalized, needs to be given health. Right? Now, when, when a young child is holding this thing or touching, do you think he knows what he's doing? Do you think he knows that he's taking the tactile impression of rough and smooth? No. He's just doing that. But then he needs to know what all these collected and all those sensory impressions which he has collected needs to be segregated and compartmentalized. Now how we do that is through all these sensorial material. We have all these sensorial materials through which we segregate and compartmentalize various sensory impressions. Like we have these cylinder blocks, pink towel, all dimensional materials. Now I We'll do a small exercise for you to deepen your understanding of this. So I want two volumes. Yeah, we have one. We have two. Now, one of the take four cylinders and put them in various like put them in a row here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.